Hello. Thank you for coming to my YouTube channel. I'm going to share to you about social media and your feelings in putting away of like, if you want to comment to it or what can you do? Um, I decided to do this subject because I want to do this for the month of February because I haven't got time from this. So I'm making up for this. So I'm going to do this now for February since I haven't done one because I've been really busy. And now I'm going to, I'll do this one and then I'll do another one for March um, soon again. But I want to share to you about, um, you know, like reading a post on social media. Like if you're reading it, like say on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And now... I have been doing this. I've been seeing it, this on my Facebook. I have been seeing this on my Instagram. And I've been seeing this on my Twitter. But I want to share to you about what can you do in a feeling how you would like to, you know, like decide on how you want to reply it or, or hit the like or how you want to say. Um, I'm here to say this because... When I go on my social media, such as, you know, Facebook, the, the Instagram and Twitter. And what I do is when I see something, I go, you know, okay, that sounds like a good compliment. I'll hit like. But if you feel like the compliment doesn't feel so good, you don't need to, you can decide on saying like you don't like it, but you know, best thing to do is if you don't like it, just don't do, don't post say dislike or, or make a comment saying, I'm sorry, I don't like your comment. I mean, your post. I don't like your post on what you're putting on here. A better way to do this, let me share this to you. What I have out of my own feelings, I really do. I do have a lot of friends on my Facebook. I do have a lot of friends on Instagram. I do have quite a few. Um, I'm making friends on Twitter. And I have one friend of mine who, you know, promises me to teach me more about Twitter. But, you know, when I start learning things about Twitter, you know, I have to share to you saying, you know, like, it's okay. But if it's like such as, like like I said, those three, like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitter. So let me say this in a, say, it's your share of feelings, what how you feel. But, you know, it happened to me, okay? One day, I posted on my Facebook, okay? I posted on my Facebook, and I posted about my favorite NASCAR driver. And I love NASCAR. My favorite driver is Kyle Busch. Okay, but don't disappoint me. Okay, it's just it's my favorite driver and I like the NMM sponsor. So you can't say anything bad about that. But I want to share to you what hit me is this. I've been posting it on my Facebook and I have been posting it on my Instagram. And I had a friend of mine who pops in and starts saying F words. Says F this, F that, da 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 da, blah blah this, blah blah that, and he doesn't like about Kyle Bush. So I went and comment, and I said, I went and messaged my friend. I said, could you please not use the F word in my post? I don't like it because I have friends and family who sees my post on there, and I don't want to see the F word into it and that's what I say I don't want to see it I don't want to see you posting it and that's what happened I told him that because I had to delete his comment off of there my friend's comment I had to do the same way on Instagram delete it because I, I warned my friend about it and then after that like within a few like within a few months later after again I post another one about my favorite driver Kyle Bush and you know the NMMs I like 
And he comes back and says, F this, F that, blah, 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 that. And I said, okay, I've had enough. So what I did, is I delete the comment. I went to his um, line. I hit a, an um, icon on there and it says block. So that's what I did. I blocked my friend on Facebook and the same friend that was on my Instagram, same thing. I blocked it because I, I felt like I had enough. Because of the F words. And the F word is not accepted to be to be with my friends to see this. And it's not to be with my family to see this. I'm doing this because I'm protecting. Because I don't like to see bad language on such as my comments. And I'm glad I have another friend who's on my Facebook and Instagram. And... I try to see, and if I see words out there, I just, I learn by doing this myself. But I'll say this, you can do this like just Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. But anyway, I'm going to say this. If you see a friend who posts like profanity words on there with profanity, vulgar, bad language, words, and all that, you know, or if you see other people do the same way, you know, you have a choice to decide saying, okay, should I like this comment or not? But if you see like really bad language on there, don't. If you have a feeling saying you like it, okay, that's fine. That's fine. But the one thing I am watching carefully is when I see it on there. Is if I see it, I I don't hit like. I don't hit. A comment but if you start seeing like a friend let's say you're if your friends or other people's social media like do their posts and if they said something that's good and clean then you can hit, I use I hit like and I usually comment says you know that's a good idea or you can say something that's really positive and all that and I have been doing that to my Facebook I've been doing that to my Instagram and I've been doing that to my Twitter so that's what I do I've been doing that and it has been helping me because it makes it feel better for me. But I'm just saying, it's your choice, your decision. But if you start making your own comment, I mean, post with bad language, you just got to learn how your, uh, like, say, your other people, or your friends on your social media feels because they will probably have a decision to say, well, I'll hit like, or I will probably say, well, you don't want to hit a comment and say, I don't like what you say on your post on here because you don't want to say that. You just got to be more careful. Just got to watch. And if you see something and if any like your friends or any people that posted with bad language or anything like that, just be cautious and careful. And you don't want to comment anything negative back to them because they will probably come back and be um, saying, why you said this to me? Why do you say that to me? So I learned to be just be cautious and careful. So that's what I'm saying. I'm just going to share you my subject is called be cautious and be careful with um, um, things that you post or other people or other posts that you see on your social media. So I'm just going to call it cautious on post to social media. So anyway, I hope you give me a like. I hope you give me a subscribe and uh, keep staying tuned to watch more of my videos on my channel here. So I need more subscribers. I hope you guys are willing to watch this. And I hope you will be enjoying here for me again. So I hope you all guys have a good time. And, uh, and I'll see you next time again. Take care.